This is a vertical carousel. Imagine a web page where content seamlessly flows from one section to another, creating an immersive and captivating user experience. With this unique implementation of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, we will create a vertical carousel that not only scrolls smoothly but also synchronizes transitions between the left and right halves of the page. I created a HTML file and included some basic tags like head, title, body. I also styled the body by setting its width and height to 100% and removed the default margin and padding. I also included some link tags for Google fonts and icons. Next I created the center element. This is for video purpose only. Next added a top element which is for demonstration of a section. Then start by creating the carousel element inside which create a left element, then create a right element. Inside left element create a left item element that contains the title and text. Next add the title element, then add the text element as shown. Then create item element inside right element, inside which place a image, we will add the source later. Then add a button inside right element as shown. Next style the body by setting the background image to the entire body, then set the background attachment to fixed and background size to cover. Also set the background repeat property to no repeat. Then style the center element by setting its width to 100%. Then style the top element by setting its width and height to 100% and adjusting its font properties. Then align its text to center using display flex. Next style the carousel element by setting its width to 100% and height to fit content, aligning its children to horizontally middle using display flex and setting position to relative. Then style the left element by setting the flex basis to 50%, which means that it occupies the 50% space of its parent element which has its display set to flex. Then align its children to center using display flex property and flex direction to column, then set box sizing to border box which prevents overflow. Next style the left item element by setting its width to 100% and height to 100 view height, box sizing to border box and provide some padding to left and right. Then align its children to center using display flex. Next style the title element by setting its font properties, then style the text element by setting its font properties as shown. Next style the right element by setting its position to sticky and setting it top right location, with a height of 100 view height and flex basis of 50% similar to the left element. Now add the image source in the right element. Next style the item element in the right element, by setting its position to absolute at top left location, with height and width of 100%, and aligning its children to center using display flex with flex direction to column. Next style image by setting its width to 350 pixels. Next style the button element by setting its background to white, providing some padding and setting its font properties. Then remove its border and outline and provide border radius of 7mm and margin at the top. Now since we have styled everything, we will add some more elements to the left and right. You can see the left item elements that are added to the left element. Also, the item elements to right element. The images are overlapped on each other, as we have set the position to absolute for the item element, and the entire thing is stuck to the top, as we mentioned position sticky to the right element. We will use the JavaScript to change the right items according to the page scrolled. But first we will hide all the item elements by setting its opacity to zero and define a new active class that makes only the active item to be visible. By default set the first item element to active. Next start a script and assign all the item elements to an array items and assign the carousel element to a variable carousel. Next create an event listener to detect the scroll event. Next calculate the proportion using the get bounding client rect property of the carousel and the window's height. This helps us to calculate the proportion the carousel scrolled. When the carousel is at the top, the proportion value is zero. And when the carousel it at the bottom, the proportion value is minus n, where n is the number of item. You can see the same values in the console.
Now we use this proportion value to calculate the index of the item. A value of 0.5 is added to make the index is changed as soon as the new left item is scrolled. You can see the index values in the console. Next, iterate over all the items and first assign the default class as the class name, then if the item index matches with the calculated index then add the active class to the item. You can add more styling by mentioning the transition to the item element. Also add scaling effect to item element as shown. Then you can add a pseudo element for the item element with a glass morphic effect as shown. Finally adjust the Z index of the left element to make the text visible. If you find this tutorial valuable, then subscribe to the channel.